Good morning. It's Monday, November the 30th, and you're watching Agoracom Small Cap News TV. I'm your host, Paul Kandakos. Agoracom TV is a daily, fast-paced show, bringing you the best press releases along with the halts at the open so you can hopefully profit from them and potentially find your next great small cap investment. Folks, hopefully you all had a tremendous weekend, got a chance to catch some NFL action. Today, however, we're down to business. But before we actually get down to business, quick reminder, December 3rd and 4th, that's this week, for the first time ever, the Agoracom Online Golden Commodities Conference takes place right here on Agoracom. We've got a great lineup of speakers, including Granditch, Coffin, Kedrosky, Ritholds, and a whole bunch more. And we've got about 30 junior resource companies that we are going to be presenting. So this is something you want to catch. It's 100% free right here on Agoracom, December 3rd and 4th, mark it in your calendars. Now, let's get down to the news. I've got three press releases for you this morning, all from the Canadian side, nothing from the U.S. side, no halts to report on. So without any further ado, let's get down to business. Our lead story comes out of a company called Nora Resources. They trade on the venture under the symbol NOT. They're announcing today that they're sweetening the bid for Free West Resources. It's a hostile takeover bid for Free West Resources. This has been an ongoing story for the past few weeks. They're announcing that they're uh, providing a new bid, their final offer, which will issue two Noron shares and a five-year purchase warrant with a strike price of $4 for every seven Free West shares. So for every three and a half, uh, three and a half shares of Free West, you get one Noron share. The new deal would value Free West at $222 million, or more importantly, $0.86 cents per share, based on the Friday closing place, price of Noron shares. Uh, Free West would hold approximately 27% of the combined company. Last week, Free West, Ma Free West Management said it supported an all-stock bid from Cliffs that valued Nord at $150 million or $0.70 cents per Free West share based on the public stock prices at the time. This story continues to develop. Free West is definitely in play and wanted by a lot of the companies uh, that are in the Ring of Fire area. A little bit about Free West, they're a Canadian-based mineral exploration company focused on acquiring, exploring, developing high-quality chromite, gold, and base metal properties in eastern Canada. Noron's last at $2.25, high of $3.01, low of $0.43, cents, market cap of $368 million. Free West is last at $0.64, cents, high of $0.68, cents, low of $0.12, cents, market cap of $128 million. But with today's news coming out, I would imagine keep your eyes on Free West because that should be moving. Disclaimer time, Free West is an Agoracom client. However, as always, the news stands on its own two feet. Moving on to our next company, Sage Gold trades on the venture under the symbol SGX. The company is announcing extensive exploration activities in 2009 in the Beardmore Geraldton Gold Camp has yielded new surface discoveries of gold, silver, platinum, palladium, nickel, copper, chromium, lead, and zinc and grabbing channel samples on the nine different properties. Try saying that five times fast. Now, I've got some highlights from the channel samples. I've got the Bernadine channel sample, which has values ranging as high as 1% copper, 0.4% nickel, 1.6 grams per ton of palladium, 0.75 grams of platinum, 2% chromium, and four, uh, 14 grams per ton of silver. Uh, we've got one more channel sample for you. That's from Curry Hopkins, where they've got samples of up to 11 grams per ton of gold, 285 tons per gram of silver, 3.8 percent lead, 4.6 percent zinc, and that's over 0.4 meters. Uh, and finally, I've got Dorothea, which was their best grab sample, which yielded 62 grams per ton of gold and 1,830 grams per ton of silver. So a great start for Sage. Uh, they're a mineral exploration company, development company, which has primary interest in exploration properties in Ontario. Disclaimer time, Sage is an Agoracom client. However, the preceding news stands on its own two feet. They're last at five and a half cents. High of nine cents, low of four cents, market cap of approximately fourteen million dollars. And finally, we've got Ara Silver Resources trades on the venture under the symbol AUU. The company is announcing the extension of its silver zone from its Higo Bianco trend, which is located in Oaxaca, Mexico. I've got some highlights which include hole number nine, which intersected 36.6 meters of 303 grams per ton of silver equivalent, including 1.9 kilograms over one and a half meters. So those are some pretty significant concentrations. I've also got hole number nine, which contains a single silver entrenched sample of 129 grams per ton of silver 
from 17.3 meters to 19.25 meters. A little bit about the company, they're engaged in the acquisition, exploration and development of precious metals prospects in Canada and in Oaxaca, Mexico. Company is last at 25 cents, high of 60 cents, low of 3 cents, market cap of approximately $10 million. That's a wrap for today's show. Thanks for joining us. Make sure to join us again here tomorrow. We've got more great press releases and halts at the open for you.